Hey guys, today we're going to be watching Dr. Stone episodes 6 to 8. So a little recap as to what happened in the previous episode, Senku and Taiju were able to depetrify Yuzuria, who is the longtime crush of Taiju, and all three of them head to Hakone to be able to make a weapon of science to be able to go against Tsukasa, who is insanely strong, and so they can't fight him physically. And in episode 4, they find out that there are other people who are depetrified, but we don't know who they are yet. But also Tsukasa reaches them and he kills Senku. Which broke my heart so much. And in episode 5, Taiju and Yuzuriha take Senku far away from Tsukasa by causing an explosion to distract him. And they find out that there's a bit of stone left on the neck where Tsukasa hit him. And they use the miracle fluid on it in hopes that it will bring Senku back. And all of that leads us to the next episodes. But before we do that, I would like to thank you guys for watching my videos and constantly supporting me. It means so much. And to all of you guys who aren't subscribed yet, feel free to subscribe down here. And with that, let's get into the episodes. Oh no, he's so tired. Taiju. You can tell he's really happy to see that. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder what that was. Earthlings are so lit. <laughs> Why is Taiji used as an example to being petrified? <laughs> Ruffle. <laughs> what? He finds challenging exhilarating, which is good. He'll never give up. <laughs> is that a bat? Oh yeah, the cave. Oh, so that's how I found out. Oh god, his face is like, why isn't it working? Oh, so he's been pouring on others too. Anime version of Einstein. Like ripped a piece of his thumb. Oh my gosh. I think it was written in blood. Oh my gosh. Oh, Zenku. Please come back. You're coming back. You're coming back. Oh my gosh, they're not even realizing that it was Senku talking. Yay! I'm so happy. Oh my god! Ooh, I wonder what it is. What was it? What was it? The meat in too. <laughs> no. Oh my 
my gosh, he's like flailing her. Ah, spying on him. They have an advantage. That's good. Robots and everything. I wonder who the other people are too. I wonder who they are. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Woo! I'm excited. I wonder who the other people are. Who's that? Who is she? Ooh. She seems strong. Oh, interesting. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Careful, Senku. I want to know who she is. I want to know more about her. Whoa. <laughs> Soap. Hey, look at that! A pulley system! <laughs> wow! He never gives up! Wow, maybe a new member of the team. <laughs> so that was episode six of Dr. Stone and now we know who the girl is. Her name is Kohaku and she seems to be very Stone Age raised because she doesn't seem to know what science is. So it's really interesting because maybe there are people who aren't part of the generation that they were from, which is really interesting. I'm interested to see what happens in the next episode. So let's get into it. I've taken a liking to Senku from the beginning. <laughs> She's already in love. <laughs> she sleeps armed with her knives. <laughs> that suck getting killed for a second time. <laughs> Does she have more friends? Line buddies? Whoa, it's like they built a whole little village there. I'm <laughs> not a lioness. Maybe Senku can help you with science. Like making medicine or something. Oh, poor dude. Gorilla. <laughs> Whoa. He already 
build something for transportation. Not that great. Oh, poor dude. <laughs> well, they have like a little village already. 40. Yeah, where did they come from? They don't even know! Like how they turn into stone and stuff. Oh, she's scary. and the other one's like freezing. <laughs> yeah, your face is scary, Senku. <laughs> Let someone else handle it. I like how they call it sorcery. <laughs> well, calling it sorcery instead of science. <laughs> Senku's like, what the heck? Rainbow Bridge? <laughs> nah, you can't. Senku's too smart. You just can't beat him. You just can't beat Senku. <laughs> oh no. It's <laughs> 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 so science. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> Aw, poor dude. He just lost the shed. Two science loving. Well, one thinks it's sorcery. But that's cool. That's like, I'm not having it. <laughs> He's already sold on it. <laughs> oh, he wants a silver one. 
They already have like a priestess? They got a whole system set up already. Senku might be able to make medicine for you! If you let him into the village. Oh, he's telling him about the whole world before this. He's so interested in it! Poor doggy! Oh, is he crying? Oh, he's crying! Yeah, no matter what happened, humanity still starts up again. Another ally! <laughs> Whoa, now they're gonna start making medicine! That was episode 7 of Dr. Stone, and I really enjoyed this episode because Kohaku brought Senku to the village that she's from. It seems like they don't know anything about science, and they weren't part of the generation where Senku was from, so they didn't come from being a stone. What I really loved about this episode was that Senku meets Chrome, who is just like Senku, except that he doesn't know what science is, so he calls it sorcery. And now Chrome and Senku are working together to make an antibiotic for Kohaku's older sister because she's sick. I'm really excited for the next episode, so let's get into it. But it's true. He was a stone person that started moving. He's like, I got two new people on my side. <laughs> Ready for science! <laughs> Man, it sounds like it's gonna be so hard to make new medicine. What is up with his lips? <laughs> I hope they can make it and save the sister. Senku Sorcery Science Class. <laughs> Why is he so tired? You're not a loser, Senku. Not at all. <laughs> GPS, a little compass. Oh, they have magnets. It keeps calling her a gorilla. <laughs> No, it's a person. It's a person. Aww. Little helper. <laughs> Aww. She wants to help. I wonder what she looks like. Oh, she's like blushing. Now she's gonna help him find more and more. <laughs> interesting, all of it's coming from her older sister. Yeah, I'm interested in who she is too. <laughs> Aww. Whoa, they got a lot of the... Well, they got a lot of it. Whoa, they are pumping air up so fast. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's lights coming out of Senku's eyes. <laughs> oh. Ha, he 
doesn't want to give him his gold spear. Oh, they look so drained. Oh my gosh, they're both thinking the same thing now. <laughs> Whoa, how does that happen? What the heck? <laughs> she has a little detective outfit. Wait, how does she turn into a... She's so small, she fits in her little melon head? What the heck? Oh, she's shaking. <laughs> she's rolling back. He doesn't think of her as a woman. You're a gorilla. <gasps> I wonder what he's going to get. What kind of food for the two people that want food. <laughs> Doggy. What is he going to make? I <laughs> wonder what they're making. <laughs> Chef Senku. <laughs> Is it like ramen? Yep. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. Look how they all the chopsticks. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> they like it. <laughs> he finished his. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> okay, yeah, because it's not, it's something they never tried before. <laughs> you open this little <laughs> cart of ramen. I loved it. <laughs> That was episode A of Dr. Stone. I really enjoyed this episode because now they found out a little bit what the villagers want and some of them wanted new food other than grilled fish. So Senku decides to make ramen, which is one of the most popular dishes in Japan. But even though it's not the best ramen from his generation, they've never tried it. So they thought it was like the most heavenly thing to eat. And now they're trying to gather people to help them with the science to make the medicine by baiting them to eat ramen. That is all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, get a big thumbs up. You guys can subscribe down here or you guys can watch my previous Dr. Stone reaction up here. And with that, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!